A lot of maturing to do it, and he's and he's attacked it at all. You know, he's really grown um, first and foremost as a as a person uh, while being on this team. You know, not that he had anything wrong with him or that he was, you know. Uh, guy, but just, you know, everybody when you come in as a freshman has a little growing up to do. Um, and he was aware of that, uh, and he attacked that, that area head on, and obviously we reap the benefits on defense and how he's able to play. Um, and, and in terms of, you know, his potential, I think we all see the sky's the limit for him. He's extremely talented. Um, he's a freak athlete. So as long as he just stays bought into what we're trying to do here, what Coach Franklin's preaching, um, and, and Coach Pride, the information he's giving him, uh, he, he'll be, you know, an extremely great defensive player here at Mexico. I know it's still fresh. I know it's still fresh, but have you had a chance to kind of reflect on this is the last time that you're in the locker room with those guys? Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of emotional in there just saying bye to everybody. Uh, you know, just Penn State football and those players in that locker room, that's all I've known for the past five years of my life. So obviously, you know, that's tough, you know, having to turn the page and move on and start a new chapter. But, you know, I'm extremely thankful and grateful for the guys that I've met here, the experiences that I shared. Um, and I, I just wish all these guys the best. You know, we got some great guys in that room. And I'm going to miss hanging out with them. Did you know Trace was hurt? And what, what were your thoughts as he was leading that comeback in the fourth quarter? Yeah, I, I knew Trace was hurt. And I... Uh, Trace has been hurt for a while now. I think the, the stuff he's gone through and played through this season is tremendous. Um, you know, I was not surprised that he came back into the game, and I'm not surprised that he brought us back into the game. Um, Trace is the ultimate competitor. Uh, I think I said earlier in the season that you would have to kill him to, to, to keep him off the field. Uh, that's the type of guy he is, and I'm just super proud of him. We've heard a lot of people over the course of the season talk about buying in maybe not having doubters, guys taking care of little things like going to class or whatnot. Right. Do you think there is a, a portion of these guys that haven't figured that out yet? And is that different than how it was maybe two years ago? Because it seems like that's like sort of unsaid theme. There. Right, right. I would say, you know, every team um, sort of has that area. Um, you know, you talk about going to class and things like that. It's, it's usually the younger crowd that you have to bring along. Um, the sooner you can do that, the more successful you'll be. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been an ongoing thing, but I, I would argue that every team, that's something that they have to deal with. Just, it's, it's extremely hard to have 120 young men all thinking the same and all be unselfish and everything like that. That's, that's anywhere, but obviously, you know, we want to change that. And the less guys that we have that are focused on them, the more successful we'll be. Is it frustrating to try and teach them how to do that? Because you're a guy that's been around forever, and you right. you know what you can do when everybody, as James used to say, pulling the rope in the same direction. Right, right, right. Um, frustrating, maybe not not extremely frustrating, just because you know people got to grow. It can be frustrating when those things sort of rear their head uh, in a loss or something like that. If you have examples of being undisciplined, that that was a crucial point in the game. Uh, yeah, that can be frustrating. But you know, when I came in as a freshman, you know, um, you know, I had my hardships. I had my areas where I had to grow up. So you know, uh, I'm more understanding of it. And, and my my role on this team is to accelerate the process of of people growing into ourselves as well. Nick, five years down. In the James Franklin era, you've been here for all five years. Right. Where do you see Penn State five years from now? Yeah, um, I just talked about this a little earlier. I, I really think that, no, you're good. I think these guys uh, have a, a, a tremendous amount of potential. You know, we have so much talent on this team, um, a lot of young talent on this team, and some older guys that will be staying behind. Um, I, I think that these guys, you know, if they do everything right and, and everybody's bought into the same message, I think that, you know, playoffs and national championships are something that's really realistic for this team, but, you know, what it's going to take is everybody being involved into what you want to do. If you have any doubters or naysayers or people uh, going off course, you're not, not going to be able to be successful no matter how talented you are.